is Wigmas. I need all the looks, okay? I'm the gift. You, you see me? Yeah, wrap me up. <laughs> Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Rashawn. Today's video is brought to you by me. I purchased both these units with my own coin. Yes, this is a two for one special because I had to check out these wigs for myself. Let's just say we gave some looks. Okay, if you cannot tell, <laughs> It is also still Wigmas, so make sure you check out the pinned comment to see what the giveaway is today. But before we get into the install, the specs, and what I think about these units straight out the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so let's get into the first wig. This unit is from Sensational. It's part of their new Bear Lux Glueless Lace Wig Line or the Bear Lux Lace Wig Line. I am loving the packaging of this wig. It comes real fancy like the human hair wigs. I like that. This is what the card is looking like. Let me go ahead and cut it off because I'm obviously keeping this wig but this is what the card is looking like I got the unit 2 it does come with a 13 by 6 lace parting space and I got it in the color secret honey highlight I did review the unit what was it unit 3 the Bob unit of this one and I really wasn't feeling it on me the texture pretty much threw me off from jump it was more of a silky texture and I thought it was gonna be a yakky and I couldn't get the lace to blend down even though they claim lace so thin it looks like skin listen <laughs> <laughs> you got bar sensational, but I need scalp. But we're gonna try unit two and see what she hitting with. So it says 20% larger grid pattern, a 40% thinner lace design, shows more skin compared to generic lace, dissipates light for a non-reflective matte finish. So I guess when you spray it down, um, it doesn't really hold the product in the lace. So the light won't shine on it or whatever. That's kind of what I'm assuming what that means. And then stronger reinforced tear resistant lace fiber. So when it comes to the lace grid, they're claiming that it's a lot bigger compared to the other ones. But I know for HD lace on human hair wigs, the smaller the grid, the better the melt. But I'm assuming Sensational is thinking if we show more natural skin through the lace, then it's gonna be like skin. We'll see. <laughs> This unit does come in special colors, so if you wanna check that out, you can. That platinum highlight with the platinum gray color, that's really pretty. Platinum, secret highlight, light ash brown, I mean, okay. The special colors are cute, but it does say the availability varies by the retailer. So depending on where you buy this from, certain colors may not be available. So, you know, there's that. I bought this unit with my own coin, so I'm hoping I didn't just pay for a cute box, okay? And a bunch of claims. I really want this wig to, Slay is Wigmas. I need all the looks, okay? I'm the gift. You, you see me? Yeah, wrap me up. <laughs> Already out the box, this hair is silky. So if you don't like silky hair, this may not be the one for you. But for curly wigs, I kind of give it a pass depending on how it falls on me. So this is what the hairline is looking like. Mm. The hairline for me is very straight across, but the frontal is not too thick. So I'm gonna have to pluck or pull some hair out of my frontal to get it to lay down the way that I want. The lace is very soft, but it does have like an ashy tint. So I will have to tint my lace on my unit, 13 by six. It is shorter on the sides, which is common for Sensational. It does have that grip inside the wig, which allows a more secure fit. It also has the elastic band already attached in my wig. This will probably be too tight on me because Sensational wigs normally run small, and the uh, unit three was a little snug after a while. So I'm gonna loosen mine as much as possible in hopes that it kinda sits more comfortably on my head. I am gonna take off the adjustable straps in the back. There's also combs in the back and on the side. And like I said, that grip is all the way around the inside of the cap for a secure fit. I'm gonna take my soft focus powder first to tint my lace just around the hairline. I'm not too worried about the part in space. And then I'll use my contour if need be once I spray this unit down. Uh oh, I need a wig cap, hold up. Let me make sure it's pulled back, cap cap to the back let's put it on seems a little loose but we'll find out where's the front here we go hmm <laughs> this is how we're looking so far that color is cute wait what it's literally just right here in the front secret highlight honey that ain't no secret it's right in the front Ooh, sensational okay let me just let me keep going let me get my clip oh that's cute on the top my wig is not down the back yet hold up yeah i can definitely pull some of that hair out now it says it does not rip we're gonna find out as i'm pulling this use your tweezers if you're not confident that you won't bust a hole in your wig the frontal is not too thick so you don't need to pull out a lot of hair for it to look natural but the hairline the line that goes around your forehead is very straight across don't want to cut off any hairs i definitely cut off 
off some hairs. <laughs> Cut it in three. If you're not comfortable using a razor, use your scissors to cut off your lace. I'm gonna go ahead in with my melt spray to melt down my wig. Mold these hairs. I'm not gonna spray the side down because it actually is laying pretty flat. But I am gonna spray this right here. That baby hair is way too long. Let me pull that back. Now I'm gonna take my melt band here, wrap that down. If you don't have a melt band, elastic band, whatever you want to call it, I do have some linked in my Amazon storefront. Okay, we 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 getting somewhere. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Let's take the band off. That's the whole focus is the hairline apparently. Ooh, she crunchy. Ah, wipe it, wipe it, wipe it, wipe it. I don't want it to be crunchy looking. Let me get my contour. I put some on the brush, and then I'm gonna tap some of it off. So I don't want it to be harsh. So I'll go around the hairline, melt that in. There we go. Okay, she melting down. I don't know why there was a different lace. I feel like my other one did not melt down like this. I don't know what's going on with that sensational, but you may want to go back and visit the bob unit and see what's going on. I'm looking around like I can't see and I can't because I don't got my glasses on. Goodness. All right, the up style would be real cute, but I want to see what it looks like down since you know, it's a curly wig. Let's see how she gonna sit on me. Okay. I was thinking about combing the curls out, but I feel like if I do that, it'll change up the look and I want it to look like this. I mean, I wish there were some layers in here though. That would have been great. Oh, where's my pick child? Where is the pick? I'm just taking it and bringing it up the hair shaft, just to tease the hair up a bit. I am making tangles in this wig, but I don't care because I don't plan on combing through or running my fingers through this hair. This blonde though is real, a little ratty. This was like this out the pack. I didn't even do anything. All I did was move the hair and it was already tangling like that or frizzing up. I'll add some mousse to that and see if it'll calm it down a bit. I'm teasing it up to my liking. If you don't want the, the big hair look, just keep it how it was out the pack. That peekaboo is a waste in my opinion. Why didn't you have it all the way in the back? You just have one little section on each side. Like that's, I don't like that. But you know what this is reminding me of? Not as so much the texture, but more so the look is giving me the wild African wig that I did that was um, pre-curled out the pack. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting with this one. If you don't mind silky texture, the unit is short on my side, so it's coming down right at my side, but it is fitting down pretty comfortable. It's not tight on my head like at all. I'm gonna get these hairs back the way I want it because they're too long. So that's me right there. I'm gonna leave that alone. Take a little bit of my setting mousse, my melt and slay setting mousse, a little bit on the hand. Oop, might be too much. But I'm gonna put it right here on this blonde hair. Kind of relax that a bit. You can also spray it down with some water and then the mousse to kind of get that together. Or the mousse and the Eco Styler gel, you can do that. You can pop your curls back in your synthetic wigs. I can still see my lace on my wig. Because why are you worried about my husband? <laughs> he needed a medium pizza, so he had. <laughs> oh, she read that girl to filth. Golly. But then her man went to jail, so. <laughs> I'm using a little bit of my Tresemme Extra Hold hairspray. Here is the final look with this one. I think it melted down really nicely, a lot better than my unit three. That's a very nice melt, but I feel that's pretty much it with the unit as far as, you know, the hype goes. It is called the bare lace, so the focus is the lace, but they still could have focused on other parts of the wig. Like the plucking of the hairline could have been a lot better. The hair texture I feel like could have been a lot better. Because this one is more of a silky texture, it will just get matted looking over time and it won't be in a good way. Mine will do that a lot faster than yours may because I did use my pick to tease up my hair because I wanted it to be a little bit more lived in, but you know, if you want yours to last a little bit longer, I suggest you not do that. It does come to 13 by six lace parting space, which is a good amount of parting space for a synthetic wig. So um, what we think? That highlight though really irritates me. This is probably a good two to four dollar upcharge for this color and it's just, that's selfish. That right, that right there is real selfish. <laughs> 
<laughs> like I know the name is Secret Highlight, but I didn't know it was actually a secret. I do feel like you could get this same look with a what lace unit. What was it, Raina? What lace, Raina? But I will say the what lace line does have thicker knots on their wigs, so it's not as thin across the hairline. So that is good for this one. Again, if you don't wanna buy this one and you already have the what lace Raina or something similar to this wig, then you can definitely go ahead and rock that one. But let's go ahead and get into wig number two. Okay, so next up we have a unit from Outre. It is from their new air tied collection. It's a 100% fully hand tied wig. Human hair blend, this is the style. What is this? This is HHB Dominican Curly in 22 inches. I got it in the color DRST2 Chocolate Caramel. Caramel, however you wanna say it. It does come in a nice packaging with the wrap as well. Cut off this tag, cause I am keeping this. This is what the card is looking like. These are the colors that this unit comes in. So it does say that it comes with Vanish HD Plus Lace, soft and thin, masterful melt, track free, breathable, and lightweight. Track free, what do you mean? There's no tracks in the back? Uh oh, wait a minute. So it does come with a 13 by six lace parting space and a breathable mesh cap. It says lightweight, redefined, lace redesigned. Everybody got bars. <laughs> <laughs> Customize your invisible finish and part freely with the Vanish HD Plus Lace that is thinner, softer, and blends more seamlessly into your skin. The vented mesh cap allows for optimal airflow. Okay, so not too much on the sweaty cap. I like it. All right, let's unwrap it. <laughs> I feel like it's Christmas. Ooh, this color is pretty. Hold up, it's tied down in here. Let me cut this off. This is what the hairline is looking like. That lace actually feels the same, and that hairline actually looks the same as well. Are y'all in the same building? What's? <laughs> This is the cap construction on the inside, 13 by six, but you can still do it upside with this. Does come with the elastic band. Sensational's elastic band was adjustable, so you know, deduct a point for you, Outre. Mm -hmm. But Outre has the hand tied wig all the way around. Like when they said no tracks, they mean no tracks. No tracks in the cap. That is actually really nice. I'm, Okay, the sensational one had tracks. I just had to make sure I wasn't missing nothing. Utre said, listen, I take your elastic band and I raise you scalp. Okay, we don't focus on the small things. <laughs> I like that. I don't like that hairline though, but we gonna, we gonna work with it. I like that y'all focusing on different things, but I need the whole wig to be on point, not just parts, okay? I'm not paying for parts. I'm paying for the wig as a whole. Use my black radiance powder again to tint up around my hairline. And I will spray this unit down because I want it to melt. The way this lace sits, it's not gonna melt with just like mousse or nothing like that. My adjustable straps are already off on the back, so I'm just gonna put this wig on my dome. Outre, you got a big head friendly wig. There's space in this wig. Big head gang gang. <laughs> the fact that this wig has no tracks on it, I am speechless, I like it. It does have some light baby hairs, so if you wanna use those, you can, but I will not be doing that today. Did I pull a hole in my wig? It looks like you were so focused on the back of the wig that you forgot the front. I'm doing the same thing like I did to the other wig. Ooh, that hairline is very straight across. Take my melt spray again, spray it down across the front. Spray it right here. I don't care about my ear tab, brush it in the direction that I need it to go. Make my wrap and wrap it down. This is one thing that I like about synthetic wigs. They already come pre-styled, pre-colored. You don't gotta worry about the curls falling out. Do I have any layers in here? I have a couple. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing I did to the other one. This unit does have a bit more texture than the sensational one. It's not super yakky, it's not super silky. It's like that in between. I'm still stuck on the fact that this has no tracks. No tracks! Peel it down. Ooh, that melted down pretty good. Brush, brush, brush. Take our contour, put some on the brush. Ooh, that's a lot. Bring it around the hairline to melt it in. Look up, make sure you're blending up under the lace. Still giving me that halo look, and I don't like that. I feel like this went a lot faster than the other one. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, y'all, so here is the final look for this one. I do feel like the lace on this one is the exact same as the Sensational. I don't feel like there's any difference with the lace whatsoever. This one though, I feel like it didn't blend down as well just because of the lightness of this hair. So it does create like a, almost like a reflection on my light. So it's not giving me that shadow around my hairline to help with the concealment of my lace. The baby hairs on this one are a lot shorter and more natural in my opinion, but you know, that's all personal preference. You can cut or swoop or swish your hairline how you choose to. This hair does get a lot bigger than the other one just because it does have some texture in it. And this hair will frizz up and tangle just like the Sensational version. However, when this one tangles and mats, it will look a little bit more natural. Y'all can see down here how it frizzed up, but it doesn't look like ratty or like messy. It looks more like lived in. That's why I like a more textured look on my synthetic wigs. It gives a more natural look as they wear down, which alleviates me having to buy more. I will need to buy another Sensational sooner than I buy this one, okay? But y'all tell me, which one do you like more? Do you like the more silkier curl with the real nice hairline and lace, or do you like a more natural curl with the color and the no tracks? For me, I mean, the Sensational color does look really good on me, but I'm gonna go with this one just because it has the texture that I want in my wig. I'm pretty sure these are around the same price. So this one is $70, and the Sensational one is 56 and some change, so about 57. So it's a good, what, $13 jump between the prices of this one, so you know. You figure out which one works for your pockets, okay? That's wig math. <laughs> But that's all I got for you guys today. I will put the direct link for my units down below, so if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.